Hello, it's good to see you. Today we are experimenting uh, with a different room and kind of different acoustics. I thought that we would try making a little short video in here. This is just kind of a test. I want to see how it sounds in here. Uh, I've never made a video in here before. Um, and I wanted to, I wanted to clarify something. So I thought I would kind of kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to, I want to um, explain something a little bit better and it will also give me a chance to see how this sounds. And this is the last thing I'm going to say about the, uh, the, the, uh, the last video I made about the, the nine assholes comments. I'm sorry if words like that bother you. Um, I won't say it again, but I made a video about it. I was not trying to bully anyone. I, my intention was not to make fun of anyone. I simply, um, I read it. When I read the comment, I read it wrong and my brain interpreted it differently than the way she meant it. <clears throat> and it just struck me as really funny. Um, and I, but I was not trying to make fun of anybody or belittle anyone. I promise I was not. That was not the intention of pointing it out. I just, um, I just wondered if you had ever had a chance, like if you had ever had something happen where you read something or you heard something and you took it the wrong way and it was really the way you took it was just funny. It's not that you were laughing at the person who said it or wrote it. It's just that it, it just, it was just funny to you because you took it a certain way. Uh, that's all it was. I was not, I certainly was, I would not make fun of a nine-year-old girl. I have a nine-year-old boy. I would not make fun of a nine-year-old. I hope you know that I would not do that. I promise I would not. Um, and I, I will tell you an example from my own life of um, me saying something and it kind of came out and it sounded like I was saying something else. And this was about 15 years ago. Uh, and I was, I was at work and we were decorating our office. I worked in a completely different department back then. And we were decorating our office uh, space, our department for Christmas. And we had this big uh, box of Christmas decorations. And one of the decorations that we had was this reindeer and he was pretty big. He was, um, he was at least a foot tall and this little plush reindeer. And he had this mechanism in him that you could put batteries in it. And he would, he would play Christmas songs and his antlers would light up and his head kind of move back and forth like this, you know, and it kind of moved in tune with the, whatever song was playing. And uh, one of my coworkers was new. She was new to the department since the previous Christmas. So she had no experience with this reindeer and she got it out and well, I'd already gotten it out and had been messing with it a little bit. And she was going to put it in the midst of some other decorations. And she said, you said this thing plays music. I said, yeah, it does. And she said, well, I can't, I can't get it to work. What, you know, what do you have to do to make it play music and um, she's turning it all upside, upside down and trying to figure this reindeer out. <clears throat> and I said, well, it's got batteries in it. She said, well, okay, but I can't, it's not playing music. How do you get it to do that? I, and I was watching, I was looking at her. I said, oh, no, you have to get in his pants to turn him on. And as soon as I said that, she just busted out laughing and I was so embarrassed. I just blushed. I was so embarrassed because I, I, she was an older lady and she was normally kind of uh, uptight. And the fact that I had said this to her was so embarrassing, but she just busted out laughing. And what I meant was there was a, uh, there was a switch, but he had these little pants on and he had on like he had on little pants and overalls and a shirt and you had to reach down in his pants and there was a little switch in there. The battery housing was in there and the switch and you had to flip the switch. You had to get in his pants to turn him on. That's what I mean. I didn't mean that I wasn't trying to, it was like it wasn't some sort of innuendo or anything. But that became a running joke. She worked with us for several years and every year at Christmas when we got the decorations out, she would bring that up. It just became a running joke. <laughs> and she would, you remember that one year? Oh, God, you were so embarrassed. And she just kept bringing it up. <laughs> so that's not the way I meant it. 
but to her it was unbelievably hilarious. I didn't mind her laughing at me for what I said because of just the way it came out. And that's the way I kind of reacted to this comment that I read. I'm not laughing at her. I'm not laughing at her daughter, I swear. <laughs> it just struck me as really funny. And it was at a time when I could really use something to make me laugh. So I was very grateful for it. And I would tell her that. I would tell this person, thank you. I know you didn't mean to make, to make me feel better, but you actually did. Because your comment just made me laugh. So, um, you know, it can happen to the best of us. We write things or say things and it just sort of comes out not... It, it, we are conveying what we mean to convey, but people interpret it a different way just because it just it's the context or whatever. So, uh, you know, it's happened to me too. So it's fine if you want to laugh at me. I don't, it's, it was funny. I mean, I laughed. I thought it was funny too. I was really embarrassed, but it was still funny. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to listen to this and see how this sounds. And if I like it, I may actually, um, leave this set up in here and uh, make another video while I have it all set up because this took a little doing to get this set up in here. So we're going to give it a try. And if I like it, I'll make another one. <laughs> 